pulled since that hot first half. Well, again, we saw the hesitation. He was open. Still at 10 points, but two for 10 from the field. Hackett. Now it's Gibson. It's remarkable when you think that USC has very little transition offense tonight. And Young isolated for him. Yep. Gets rushed, knocked down the jump shot. Young with eight points. It's been a struggle for him for most of the night. He's mm -hmm. the leading scorer coming in at about 17 a game. Collins, nice feed to Jackson who draws the foul. You have to be impressed with the way that Collins has run things when he's long. been in there. He really has. He's had his moments this year where he's been outstanding. Remember, he's a high school All-American who walked into a situation with a veteran backcourt and Robinson and Chalmers already here, so he's kind of trying to feel his way. And Jai has fouled out of the game. That was his fifth. He scored those four points in about the first two and a half minutes of the game. Then he went into the witness protection program on the offensive end. As Jackson steps through the free throw line, a 6'9 junior out of Oklahoma City. That's down the first to two, a 70% free throw shooter. The lead back up to seven points with eight and a half to go. Well, you mentioned Collins, who's a McDonald's All-American among the few that are here, Mark. And Bill Self's greatest strength as a coach is not necessarily in terms of the execution X and O's. He's good there, but an outstanding people manager, which is going to be the key to figuring out this puzzle for the Jayhawks. There you go. Great anticipation by Collins, and you're not going to catch him. Great, great lift for Collins, and when you pair him with Robinson or Chalmers in the backcourt, defensively, I think it's as good as you'll see. He's hit double figures with 11. Young looking for contact, got blocked, and Gibson finishes it off for him. Well, Young, Mark, actually avoided contact. He should have jumped into the defender once he got it in the air. Seven-point lead. USC still hanging around. Well, this now looks, this looks like a zone. First time we've seen this pretty much all night. Well, for sort of a junk defense right now. They're zoning the backside. Well, Rush hasn't hit one in a while, and he continues ice cold now, 2 of 11. What can you say about Jerron Collins? And an, an education and anticipation on that one in the ring. Kansas, can they close it out when we come back? Introducing Wendy's Double Melt. In the middle of two hot and juicy fresh ground beef patties is a slice of pepper jack, cheddar sauce, bacon, and jalapenos. And now with every Double Melt, receive one dollar on a reloadable gift card. Oh, that's okay. I like the middle. For flavor where it counts, do what tastes right. It's ready. Introducing Gillette Fusion Hydrogel. Fusion's hydrating emollients and lubricants form an invisible layer that protects your skin from the first stroke to the last, adding more comfort to your shave. Gillette Fusion Hydrogel. Ordinary toothbrushes can't stand up to it. Oral-B Triumph. Triumph is the first brush with an onboard computer and a floss action brush head to power clean deep between teeth. It helps reverse gingivitis, and it helps give you healthier gums and noticeably cleaner teeth by your next checkup. Get a smile you can feel triumphant about. Oral-B Triumph. Brush like a dentist. When you get every ATM fee from any machine at any bank anywhere in the country automatically refunded, you just have to celebrate. Go to eTrade.com and be blown away. ESPN2's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Wendy's. Get in the middle of flavor. Do Wendy's new double melt and do what tastes right. 7.28 to go here at Allen Fieldhouse with the home crew leading 59-52. to 52. I'm Mark Jones along with Fran from Phil Courtside. And Fran, against DePaul just several days ago, Kansas with the lead at about this point but they were unable to close it out. What do they have to do differently here? Well, you know, they just have to go back and play with the kind of confidence we saw at the end of last year. 
USC, the way they've defended them tonight, Mark, they've made them play, and I'll use a football term here, they're making them play left-handed. They're taking away Rush and Chalmers as much as they can in the half-court offense and forcing other people to beat them. Fortunately for Kansas, their defense has been very solid, and of course, we've seen a lot of fast-break opportunities set up by the likes of Chalmers Robinson and this precocious freshman, Sharon Collins. This part of the season, it's kind of like a science experiment. Still trying mm -hmm. to figure out what you have. But the bench certainly was bringing it tonight. 23 bench points to one for USC. Well, this is a very talented Kansas team. Still in the play. They're like the Yankees, you know. You've got a lot of talent out here. Look at that. No one well, picked Lewis up. Lewis was wide open yep. for about three days underneath. I've got three points in the ball game. Somebody went to sleep on that. He was doing jumping jacks <laughs> underneath the basket. Five-point ball game. This is exactly where Tim Floyd wants to be. Collins look it inside. Look how they face guard in the corner and take Chalmers out of the offense. Rush has gone to the bench. Chalmers got the runner off in the lane and made it count. Chalmers with 13 in the game. Good strategy because what they did was they screened away and they allowed Chalmers to rub off that screen into the lane. Cromwell out top hands it off to Hackett. Foul. Stewart got open. That time missed. Hit his last one and in transition. Kansas looking to make it happen and doing it with Collins. Wright got rejected. And Stewart back the other way for USC, down by seven. Tim Floyd calls out the set. Yep. Uh, again, Mark, because of the lack of a point guard, and Hackett has been admirable for a freshman. No easy baskets in transition. So every half-court set has got to be prosperous. 14 on the shot clock. Stewart cross-court to Hackett. Tried to hang and got it blocked. And Chalmers stayed in bounds. What a tightrope job, but it was tipped out of bounds. That ball was oh, deflected. That ball was deflected. Now let's see. Bruce Hicks is going over to Mark Reichling. That's a good call. We saw the trajectory of the ball change as Chalmers tried to get it to right. Just keep your eye on it. Actually, it's Robinson. That ball right was there. hit. You see. Almost like in football. Ball was deflected and it went behind right. Good officiating. They inbound it to Jackson. Kansas looking to improve to 7-2 and two overall in the year. And they turn it over on this possession. A two-on-one. Gibson and Lewis. Oh and Gibson turns it over. See. He gave it right back. Yep. Now, if you're Gibson, and he's only a freshman, although he's a 21-year-old freshman, Try to get the ball to a guard. Look how high that dribble is. Anytime, yeah, anytime you see a guy dribble up by where it says USC, that's what we call a high dribble. 21st turnover of the night. Tomorrow night on ESPN, two games from the Jimmy V Classic. Mario Bogan, one of the great players in the country, leading Oklahoma State in the battle against number 21 Syracuse. Then at 9, Louisville takes on number 15 Arizona. TV Classic presented by Siemens, available in high definition on ESPN HD. Call your cable operator or satellite provider today for Louisville Frenham. A bit of a bounce back season, unable to make the NCAA tournament last year. Very, very much so. A team in transition. Of course, they have a freshman point guard from the same school as Russell Robinson. But how about the job that Tim Floyd has done keeping USC in the game tonight? Now, you look and you say they're down seven, 54 points. But remember, Mark, they've got nothing in transition. So everything has had to be earned tonight. And if they stay within five or six right now, you just want to go into that final TV timeout with a chance to make it a two or three possession game. They're probably just hoping that uh, Roderick Stewart can find his shooting touch again. There's a look at the foul situation. Jai is gone. Cromwell has four. Arthur's been plagued by foul trouble all night. He only played about eight minutes in the first half for Kansas. 1-3-1 one, one zone now. It's a flat 1-3-1 one, one zone. They're not trying to trap. They're just trying to pack in the passing lane. And Rush is back in the ball game, but two for 11 from the field. Right, wide open. Can't convert Rush crashing glass. Contact and a charge. 
Oh, Ooh, no. Not sure no. about that. I'll tell you, very inconsistent tonight. I don't think that player was set. That was a follow number one. Keep your eye now. Here's the rebound. Watch the run out. Ooh. That's close now. And I have to tell you, that is a very tough call. And when you look at that replay.